So RVers love to cook, obviously, outdoors when they're uh, on the road, and a lot of us use propane-powered uh, griddles and grills and things like that uh, when we're going out camping. And for a long time, we've had to depend on these to uh, uh, feed those grills and griddles and things like that. Well, I'm going to show you a way of getting rid of those canisters right here. And what this is, is this is the Sturgis Stay Kit from MB Sturgis which we purchased through um, uh, eTrailer.com. And uh, the point of this system is two things. One is it's going to allow you to operate your gas-powered uh, appliances uh, outside the rig off the propane on your RV. And it's also going to allow you to hook up an external cylinder to your RV. And that has an important purpose. It's twofold. One is if your RV is set up in a site and you run, especially a motorhome, and you run out of gas, especially if it's late at night or on a weekend where you can't get anything filled, this kit will allow you to go to your local pharmacy or hardware store or grocery store and get a blue rhino tank uh, in, that they have in the shelves outside. Take one of those, you can bring it back here, it gives you 20 pounds of, uh, of propane gas uh, to survive with. And then, the, of course, the other thing is that you're going to be able to hook up your high-pressure um, uh, propane appliances to the system. So in the kit, you're going to have a quick connect system like this, and this is really, really easy to install. So it has a standard, this, this particular model uses standard POL fittings, which is what our motorhome, uh, test motorhome here has. They also have this with the newer uh, fitting uh, also, so you're just going to pick which one you need. And then it has two quick connects here, which is what you're going to, you pull back and you're just going to plug your hoses in here as you wish. And it has a quarter turn valve on it, safety valve. So when these are closed, uh, you're not going to have any gas go through this. Even if it's open, uh, there's a safety valve in there. So unless there's a, uh, a hose hooked up, we're, um, you're not going to have any gas flow. And then uh, in the kit, we have this particular kit. We have your high pressure connection, and this is the equivalent of that uh, Coleman bottle that I had before. And then you have your quick connect fitting on the other end, which is what's going to go in here. So you keep the, the valve closed. We're going to pull this back, push that on there, open the valve, and you're done. And then you just hook this up to your, um, to your grill or your griddle. And this, again, is high pressure versus low pressure. So low pressure would be after the regulator. Uh, on your uh, coach, this is this goes in place before. And then this other one is gonna work the same way. This will connect to an external propane uh, uh, cylinder, and then this will feed your RV through here. So it's actually a pretty neat uh, system, and it gives you a little bit of backup. Let's take a look at putting one of these on a motorhome. Okay, so here we are with our ASME tank uh, on our motorhome. And so what we want to do is make this connection in such a way that uh, we're going to be able to have some flexibility and hook our hoses up. So the first thing, of course, you want to do is make sure that your propane is turned off, which we have here. Uh, this is a dust cover for the uh, two-stage regulator that's on the motorhome. So we're going to uh, take that off. And that often will have either zip ties or these little uh, body plugs to uh, hold the, um, the plastic to the, uh, uh, the frame of the tank. It really isn't that big a deal. You just pry that off and then you kind of feel your way around it, but you're going to just separate the plastic and then you're going to pull this off and you do that on both sides and the dust cover comes right off. So here you can see your regulator, nice and easy. So we're going to take this, reverse thread, Pull the regulator off, and like so. So there's our two-stage regulator, and we're going to take a look while we're here and just make sure the seals are okay. This has a little bit of detritus on it, but the seal is still good. When I wipe it down, it looks fine. We're just going to make sure everything's in nice condition there, and, and it does. looks pretty good. We're going to take our new... Um, Sturgy Stay Kit, and we're going to put this on here, and there's more paper on here than crazy, but that's all right. Okay. 
So I just want to kind of keep it lined up where I want it. And I'm going to test fit, make sure it looks right, everything's going to fit. Now I'm looking here, and you can see that here where we would hit the door, so we can't have it this way. So we're going to, re we're going to loosen this up a little bit. And we're going to turn this vertically. And every, every rig's going to be a little bit different. And if you're doing this on a, on a trailer or a fifth wheel, you've got to look at where your cylinders are and what you have room for. If you're on a travel trailer and you're doing it on the A-frame, uh, it's going to be a little bit different. So here we are. This looks like it'd be pretty good because then we can run the hoses down and under the rig over to the uh, door side of the, of the RV under the awning. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is tighten this down on the um, the valve like so <clears throat> so it you know and I'm sitting, I'll double check myself here so I'm gonna pull this back a little bit I've got to be able to get to this valve and I want my hand to fit around here so that I can get the, the um, collar to to pull back so we're gonna have it and I want to make sure that that's going to have enough room to go up through there, which it does. So we're going to hold that right, right there. And I'm going to tighten this one down. I'm going to test fit real quick. I think we're good. And then what I'm going to do is take two wrenches because one is going to act as a backup. And we're going to tighten this guy. I'm going to straighten the regulator out and then you want to keep it actually I'm doing that I want to have the regulator vertical like this so on the bottom of this regulator is a little vent which is over here you'll see an opening with a little screen on it on any of these regulators and you want that pointing straight down okay so that's what we're doing there so I'm just gonna it, as long as it's relatively straight down, that's fine. And there we have it. So the next thing we're going to do is, now that we have this in place, we're going to turn the gas on. We're going to do a quick leak check with a leak check solution. No bubbles. Okay, so no bubbles. Uh, we're in good shape there. We've put the uh, dust cover back on here, slid it back over. And again, uh, with this, uh, you know, this this will hold on, but it's kind of rattly. So we can drill a new hole through this bottom plate and uh, uh, and put another body mount, body panel mount uh, uh, in here, or we can use zip ties to lock this down. And uh, so to use it, uh, very simply. So for instance, for a grill. Uh, here's our, our uh, hose. We're just going to make sure that the valve is closed. Slide this back, plug that in, turn it on, and the gas is on. We're going to route this through here just so we can close our door. And uh, of course, it, you know, you don't want to have your doors just flying open or whatever else. So we close that, and then the hose comes out, and we can connect this to our grills.